All right. Hello. I took an extra minute to make myself a cup of tea because it is so cold here. Also, what's up with the game? Come on. Come on, game. Do I have to tab in and back out? Giving me, giving me, there it goes. All right. Subnautica always is a little weird when I'm trying to tab over out of OBS. But anyways, it is so cold here today that like I've got a blanket on my lap and I've got some, some hot tea brewing. So I was like, let's play a game with a bunch of snow and ice. Fit the mood. Let's get it loaded up. I might even, like, light a candle so that I can just, like, keep my hands over it like a little fire. Just a little campfire. <laughs> Grab some marshmallows. Man. This is gonna load in. There we go. The extra cold makes me move extra slow today. That is alright. It is Saturday. And, uh, we're, we're gonna make the most of this Saturday. It has been a bit of a day for me. And I feel like it's, my day has, like, just started and it's already, like, gone awry. But, that's, that's just how it goes sometimes. At least it's a long weekend, so I have, like, two more days to make up for it. That's gonna be nice. Oh, I was gonna, I was like, has it been three minutes yet? I want to drink my tea. I don't know what we're gonna do in the game today. I'm gonna, I have to think about it a little bit. Uh, because where we left off, I don't think we had a new prompt of where to go. Um, I have a couple of guesses for how to progress the story, but it might just be a little bit of experimenting, maybe some wandering around to look for stuff that we haven't found yet some new alien artifacts something like that um and crafting some new things like i i found that at least from my experiences with the first game if you just start crafting things that you don't think you need sometimes the, it'll trigger something in the in the game and it's like oh x number of crafts have been created cue next part in the story so we'll see. we'll see. But yeah, I remember being a little lost last time in the game. Both like lost as to where I was, but also where to go. There was that little iceberg area. I haven't checked that out yet. Whew. All right. Load it in. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we've been to all of those caches. Um, one of the places that I want to check out, or that I want to build, I should say, the fabricator module. Because I'm wondering if we make the fabricator module, if we'll be able to then make some of the skeleton parts? I don't think so. But... Like my my hunch says no. Oh, the laser cutter. Oh wait, shit. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do the laser cutter. We'll do the fabricator module anyways, just just because while we're at it. But the laser cutter, because then we can go back to that big ass ship, and we can open up a ton of uh, stuff in like rooms that we couldn't get into before. There we go. Yeah, makes me feel better. Makes me feel like we have some direction. I don't like just kind of doing things for the sake of doing them. I love having a purpose. So that. That's much better. So, the steel ingot, we need the computer chip. I think I had extra electronics over here. I sure did. Um, and then three lead. Which we actually have, shocking, because we were trying to build the uh, the glass on top. Hey, Allie, you know what? I'm, I'm great. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> 
I'm just, yeah, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> I am, uh, still absolutely flabbergasted. So for, for anybody else watching, I'm sure I'll, I'll mention this again later, but, um, I'm applying for apartments right now. And there was this one place that I was working with a realtor to see. Um, and the realtor had me send in a completed application with a deposit check and two cosigner forms, which needed to be, um, uh, like notarized and everything. Like it was a huge fucking hassle. Um, just to get a tour. This was just, they, they wanted those things just a tour. Hello, orc. I am, I am telling a crazy story. Um, and it like, it sounded like a scam was like my first instinct with this. Um, I just couldn't believe that they were requiring so many steps just to tour, but I know it's like, it's COVID. And so they're probably taking extra precautions. And my realtor like assured me that it was fine. So I was like, okay, whatever. Cool. Go look at the place. Decide we don't like it. Cool. Uh, withdraw our application, which was submitted incomplete. So they couldn't like accept it and then be like, oh, well you have all the stuff. So here you go. Um, you're locked in. Uh, we, we made sure that that was not possible. However, this was, this was two weeks ago. However, yesterday they cashed the check and, uh, oh, this doesn't light up at all. All right. Gotta, gotta get it plugged in. Um, and I was, I, I'm, I'm floored. I, I can't believe it. Like. I just found out like an hour ago and I was like rage, but can't do anything until Monday. So here we are. That's my rant for the day is, uh, that, that is my rant. Renting sucks. That's the other half of the rant. That they would cash it on a hol on a holiday weekend, two days before rent is due, because rent is due on Tuesday. Uh, that's the first billing day. And when they know that we're actively looking elsewhere, which means that now, like, it's it's a hassle. Like, if I wanted to apply for another place and put a deposit down on that, like, I could have had a, be a bounce check, you know? Like, that's so irresponsible of them. And they were saying that they didn't even get the check. Like what? I'm I'm just I'm so I'm so flabbergasted by this whole fucking thing. Oh my tea is definitely ready now. Ha 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 tea. Hey Dave. Yeah, it was super scummy. Like it really just felt like I was being scammed the whole time. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's just sheer incompetence or what, but uh, at least, at least I didn't decide to move there. Can you imagine if I had, like, agreed to move in, move in and then ran into, like, all these problems with the landlord while, like, living there? That would have sucked. <laughs> Dave is not a scum. Hi, Dave. <laughs> Dave's like, you don't know me. You don't know what I'm like. How do I get in? Could someone let me in? Thank you. Dave, I would trust you with my drink at a bar. That is, that, that is like a good bare minimum. <laughs> oh man, it auto put me back in. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> I like that alley though. I think that's funny. I was like, at first I was gonna say, oh, that's a good way to know you really trust someone. Then I thought about it and I'm like, no, that should really be the minimum. <laughs> Where'd the thing go? 
Where's my new guy? Here it is. Only trust homies with your drinks. Yeah. I don't know which way this is supposed to go. Is, is it this way? Yeah, we did it. Let me back here. Toot, toot. I am a train. Um. Okay, well. What if I spike it with sour candies? Oh my god. As long as it tastes good. I don't see a way to make those alien parts, these guys down here yet. I don't know where I'm supposed to make those, but I guess I'll just unpin the stuff that we don't need anymore. Unpin those. And then... Um... The synthetic fibers, I know we need something special for. No, we've got all of that. Oh no, we actually have this. We have the still suit. It's just this parallel processing unit thing that we don't have and don't know what it is. How's the game so far? It's good. It's it's good. I've I was getting a little bit frustrated with it just because I was a little bit stuck. Um but I just got a tool that should help. Um, this game is very similar to the first one in that it doesn't have a ton of guidance. You're kind of just on your own and like eventually you don't know what's going to trigger it, but you'll get a, um, uh, you'll get a, um, new line of dialogue for the, uh, for the story. Hey, Mongoose. Welcome in. Uh, just try, uh, just not trying to wake up without a liver. I feel you, Allie. I had so I had a drink last night, and and I um, I very rarely drink, not for any particular reason, um, but just during quarantine, I really cut back on how much I was drinking. And last night, I had um, a drink with like. What's it? What's a shot? An ounce? So like an ounce and a half in the drink. For like the rest of the evening, I was just sort of like, uh, I was like, uh, <laughs> like just not, not feeling great. Um, just kind of like mildly tipsy and like unsure what to do with myself for a couple hours. Um, they called it a still suit. That's a Dune reference. Oh, I haven't read Dune. I should, though. KY talks about it a lot. He really likes it. Um, Alright, so I came back in here to get some more water and some food. And then we're gonna go. How convenient. All this water and food. Alright. That's plenty. We're not going to a deep sea dive, so I'm, I'm not really too worried about stocking up and all that. Getting very tipsy tonight and tomorrow. Very excited. I hope you have a good time. I think it was just the, the, the like, drinking alone part. Like, if I was with friends, it would have been a totally different experience, but I was just, like, sitting at my desk watching TV. Um. So... Oh, you know what's kind of cool? I just realized, now that we have a fabricator in here, I can um, make beacons on the go. Actually, they're probably in deployables. Beacon, copper, and titanium. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get some of that. Oh. Ah, oh, something in my throat. All right. This was the wrong one to change the number of. The atmosphere and social setting you're drinking in can be a factor. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, copper and titanium. Let's get two. 
Might as well just make these while I'm here. So this is my only hesitation, like, with having the fabricator module, is that, like, it's pretty rare that I'm gonna have a bunch of supplies and need to make something and not have to come back to the base anyways. I think also... My attitude shifted a lot when I switched from, like, going out to work. Uh, I think it's this way, is the... Is that ship. Um, you enjoy drinking by yourself, but it's def definitely more fun with others. Yeah, so... Before, when I when I drank, like, a little bit more, and I'm still not talking a lot, I'm talking, like, a, a drink or two a week, um, I was in social sittings a lot more with work, and before my, my current job, I was in retail, so it was, like, coming home and unwinding was a much bigger deal. Alright, let's go around this way. But now it's like, I've been at work from home all day, and then I get off work, and I, like, just stay in the same place. So it's kind of... kind of takes any, any of the benefit away, I think. Except that it just, like, tastes good. I like to make fancy cocktails. That was, like, my thing pre-COVID, especially uh, using tea. I like to use tea to make simple syrups. So you'd have like a lavender, uh, I know that's like an herb, but you'd have a lavender um, simple syrup that was just like really, really delicious. Maybe this isn't where the ship was. I thought it was. Unless it's like around this way some more. Oh. I've never seen rain before. This is new. It's also like weird music. Alcoholic drinks are just tasty. You don't drink for the drunk feeling. Oh, I do. <laughs> Tea syrups can be so good. A new guy who's really into mixology and he had a Lapsang Shushong syrup. Yeah, Lapsang is great with whiskey. Absolutely. It's such a smoky tea. Um, so Lapsang Shushong is a Chinese... Uh... I dislike the sound. What's this? What's this? What's this? Those are lights. Latsang Shushong is a Chinese black tea that is um, s literally smoked. It's like dried over smoke. Um, and it just infuses with the tea and it makes a very smoky drink. Um, I don't know if this is new. Oh, is this the other entrance to that? To like this lab? Oh, this is familiar. Let me read chat for a second. Um, uh, switching to uh, laundry. Plus, uh, plus to that with whiskey. Yeah. Have to try that as you love whiskey. Uh, yeah, I can definitely send you a recipe, Dave. Um, it's like, Ooh. I'm just like so distracted by the sounds that are happening around here. I don't think there's anything here that I haven't seen before though. I can check, I'll go down. But 
But yeah, making like cocktails from home is, it just is so nice. Yeah, this is definitely where I've been already. So I'm gonna go back up. But how are you guys doing today? It's Saturday. Here it's very cold. It is very cold outside today, but. Aside from the drama, I'm feeling just fine. Harvey is freaking out though. The door's closed. Worst day ever for him. I'll get up in a couple minutes and let him in, I guess. He'll just be unsettled in 10 minutes and then want to leave again. Okay. So this is not quite the right area, but that is all right. It's really hot here today for England, uh, England standards. How hot is that? I assume like, um, maybe like 80 or 90 degrees. I guess that would be Fahrenheit. Huh. I don't remember where this ship is. I was pretty sure it was over. Oh, hell yeah, found it. Yeah, my memory's not that bad. It's pretty bad, though. My memory is quite bad. That's not an entrance. Sixty-four Fahrenheit? That's warm? Oh my god, it's like... Man, I don't know what temperature it is here right now, but I'm like... Full sweater. Oh yeah, wasn't this an entrance? Sorry, ship. I guess now I have to be more careful because I have more cars attached to my... My poor little... My poor little ship. You're wearing a hoodie, can't show your swollenness today? I mean, yeah, I've got like the, the full collar sweater on. I'm gonna have to be very careful not to get lost. I don't think the hot tub will help. I was like trying to put together a hot tub joke for this stream because the, uh, here we go. Um, the game makes a point that like it's below freezing above water, but underwater it's warm enough that you're fine. And so I was like, how can I turn that into a hot tub joke? And I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm brain fried, so I couldn't think of it. I couldn't think of anything that was, like, good, you know? Um, I'm gonna make this three, I'm gonna make this two, I'm gonna go get some oxygen and then come back. Because... I think it was this way? Yeah, okay. I wasn't entirely sure. Drink some reclaimed water. I wonder what the the ratio is for how much water you get back. Hard to tell where the entrances and exits are. 
Orc, are you planning on streaming later? Ooh. <gasps> the parallel processing fragment! Oh shit, we need three of them. Fuck. Okay. But maybe we can get three in here. Man, yesterday during a meeting, I was super embarrassed because Harvey was, like, screaming at the door. And normally... Normally, if, uh, if he's screaming and I let him in, he, he just shuts up. But today, um, or not today, yesterday, um, once I let him in, he just, like, didn't stop. And so I had to, like, try to kick him out, and then he went under the bed, and I was like, boy. You are around 7 or 7.30. Sweet. Oh my god, he's pushing on the door. Hold on. At least he's being sweet. Hey, bud. Cats, they can be a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Harvey's usually pretty good. He's usually the best boy. Yeah. Sometimes I can get him to lie down. If I scratch under his chin just the right way, he'll just, like, collapse. He's just looking over my shoulder. Are you going down? All right. I was... Oh, he's going under my desk. The other day, I felt really blessed because he sat down and, like, laid down under my feet, under my desk. Um, and he he's not a lap cat. So that was really unexpected. Oh, my God. Harvey. You guys probably can't hear him. Fuck. Where's my ship? I'm just gonna go to my ship, and I can pull it around. Laundry has been switched? Nice. I, uh, should do laundry, and I'm not going to today. I'll probably do it tomorrow. Give a cat a treat? You want me to reward this bad behavior? No, I'll do it. He, he appreciates it. Alright. Okay. Okay. He's gonna get some grass, because that's what drives him bananas. Um, oh, perfect typing, Harvey. Just watch his little face. Freaking out. I have to um I have to mess with my settings a little bit so that you guys can hear him meow, because right now I think the the filters just cut it out. All about that grass. Um, and I want, like, you guys to not hear my computer when my computer's making a lot of noise, but I do want you to hear Harvey. Because if, if I have to hear him meow every 30 seconds, so should you. Look at him go. Just chonking away. Man, if I eat a salad, it's like a choice that I have to push myself through, you know? And he's just going for it. Yeah, bud? <laughs> just full face in there. <laughs> I'll let I'll let, I'll let you get one more big chonk in there, Harvey. If cats eat too much grass, they'll throw up. And I don't want them to throw up. Cat versus plant. Yeah, good boy. See? I don't like that. I don't like that face. Harvey, you're making me nervous. Don't throw up on my bed. You see that? He, like, did this thing. Don't do it, buddy. <laughs> I love when he's just right on my shoulder. 
in the camera. It's very cute. Okay. Alright. Cool. Back it up. Back it up. Backing up. Backing up. And we're gonna put it right here. Oh, and I've got these cool new beacons. Here's one. Alright. Can I name it? Edit beacon name. Alright. What are we gonna call this big ship? The beacons are lit! Ray calls for aid! Man, I'm re-watching all of the extended editions of The Lord of the Rings, and I- it's amazing. Like, it was good to begin with, right? But watching it again, and have it- n now how it's such a staple in our culture, almost, you know? Um, and then the memes. Like, seeing those memes are amazing. Might do that Monday? Hell yeah. Um... Uh, should we call this Gondor? Pretty sure it's just Gondor. Yes, okay. So now it'll show up as Gondor. Yeah. Feel good about it. Let's get some air. Let's rearrange the inventory a little bit. Oh, wow, the laser cutter is not kidding with its battery usage. Okay. Um, I'm more likely to need the knife. <laughs> I love you, my nerdy friends. I love you, too. Oh, yeah, because, Ali, you were saying that a lot of your um, IRL friends aren't aren't huge nerds, right? So it's, like, actually kind of hard to talk about nerdy stuff. Oh, that music surprised me. I was like, what's happening? I know there's definitely more places to go. I thought there, that I got something to scan. Maybe not. Yeah, you're the biggest nerd, you know, for the most part. Gotcha. Yeah, that's that's kind of rough. That's kind of like, it's hard to not share that with people. I feel like all the films that were from that era are just massive memes, like Lord of the Rings, the prequels, and Harry Potter are so ingrained into meme culture and stuff. Yeah, like, I don't know if um, either of you uh, have actually, well, Garlic's probably been there, but I don't know if either of you have traveled to Seattle and gone to the um history of modern culture because that was like my favorite museum ever i thought it was amazing and, and talked so much about like how those really staple movies really shaped how we view media it's cool okay I know that there were some rooms in here that had, like, things I needed to laser cut or open. And not just that room. This is back to where I started. That's the other door. It's nice that there are so many ways out. Wow, that was a big loop. When you were getting Sonic and this guy had a supernatural tattoo and you were like, dude, and he was like, dude. <laughs> Nerd culture helped define 
You in ways only other nerds would know. Hell yeah. Hey, Loof. Welcome in. When Achilles congratu congratulates you for taking down dad. Yeah, that's awesome. I have finally started to get to the romancing parts of Hades. It has taken like 70 runs. <laughs> There, I know there is stuff to scan around here, and I'm gonna find it. There must be more. Love how well written that game is. Yeah, it's so good. And it's crazy that I'm like a good 30 hours, maybe, past uh... Maybe 20. I don't know. I'm I'm a fair amount past the um, credits. And I haven't found a repeated dialogue yet. That's crazy. That's insane. They deserved every reward they ever got. Alright. Maybe there's not as much here as I thought there would be. I can't get through here. Doesn't really look like there's anything in there anyways. What is that? Ugh. It can't just scoot over a little bit, it's fine. We definitely went in this way. Alright. Alright! Out we go. It's so good they do Subtle emotion in the dialogue and the voice acting so well, yeah. You were sobbing in Mark's stream, legit tears. <laughs> the payoff for actually winning a run is really good, yeah, it really is. Um, Allie, on, your, on that note, my question of the day is relevant. For those who don't know, I do a question of the day with exclamation mark Q. Girl! <laughs> if anyone's watching the VODs or on YouTube, the question of the day is, has a game storyline ever made you cry? I don't have enough time! <laughs> oh, Allie, I feel you. Oh, ship. Please. Tons you cry easily. I There have been a couple of games that have gotten me. Um, I usually can hold myself together okay. To be honest, no, you're not a crier. Yeah, like, I'll cry at, like, anything in real life. If I'm stressed out, I'll cry. But, um, movies and stuff don't usually get me unless I have, like, a really personal connection to it or something. Um... But, like, there's some movies that have absolutely, like, destroyed me in a couple of games. Um, I'm pretty sure I cried at The Last of Us, the first one, um, at, at, the, at the beginning. And right now, in case you're wondering where the heck I'm going, I'm trying to find there was another shipwreck. Uh, and then there was this, like, ice area. Oh, maybe we're in the ice area. <laughs> Allie, you'll cry for Luke. Uh, Mother 3 made you weep for days. Oh, I haven't seen that. Or Life is Strange. Yeah, Life is Strange, um, Life is Strange shocked me the first time I played it. Ooh! Uh, Coco definitely made me cry, if we're talking movies. I haven't quite figured out what to do with this area. We came over here once, and I got, like, even a bit of dialogue about it. Which made me think that there was a way to, like, 
progress, but I'm not sure if that's true. I want to look over here again anyways. I should really turn off that beacon because we're not going to be going there. Oh, what's, what's this? Hades got you choked up in a few places. In one of their other games, Transistor got you choked up. I love Transistor. Oh, is it hailing? That's weird. We got a little spot here, but nothing to to go down. There we go. Oh, it, I I had my fingers off by one key. Smashing into all these fish. Final Fantasy X always makes you cry. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom Hearts made you cry. This is a safe space. Of course it is. <laughs> of course, of course. Oh man, I'm trying to think of like what other ones like... This seems cool. Like, really stand out to me. Life is Strange and um, The Last of Us are the big ones for me. This looks different. This is new and different. Alright, let's get out. Final Fantasy, the old one, had you sobbing for pixelated um, Arius. Arius? I have not played Final Fantasy, if you hadn't noticed. New music. Maybe. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, is this a new base? Aerith. Gotcha. Oh! I'm sorry, snowman. I wanted to take the thing. I still don't know what to do with snow. I feel like a monster. I just... I didn't read and I just clicked. Oh yeah, we have all the stuff to make the prawn suits, I'm pretty sure. Can we go in here? Hell yeah. Got some more tea. What did Altera use this place for? Researchers here were trying to find me. Look at all these modules and I can't take them. Remake made you happy cry. That's because uh, you were happy to be back in Midgar. Yeah. Look at all this alien stuff. Hey Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi Orin, hi Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta or anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. Very subtle, yeah. No kidding.
You guys know I skipped right to Game Master. The Game Master GM runs the session and ensures the completion of different cycles. The hive mind will communicate their intentions directly to the GM and the GM will tell the players how his or her intentions play out. <laughs> A game of deception, aliens, and paranoia. That's cute. Guide research station zero. Settle in. Welcome, welcome to your home away from home. This brochure will guide you through your new accommodations. Uh, sector zero is comprised of two square kilometers of ocean bordered by mountain, t mountainous terrain to the north and west. This region of the planet is covered in snow and ice, left um, in a mostly permanent winter. Extreme weather events make for spectacular sky displays at all hours. For unknown reasons, it was selected by architects as a hub for their installations. Life in the area has flourished since the release of Enzyme 42 into the larger ecosystem. It's cool. To do list. Do we still not know what happened to all these people? No. Not that I'm aware of. We're still trying to find the sister. Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts. It's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. Was this Sam's space? What was she doing all the way out here? Kitty! Aw. That's weird that it kind of talked over the... I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Oh, potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. Did that cut it off mid? It did, didn't it? All right, we'll just I don't play think it I again. have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. Lil wanted to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them? Terran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. Uh, we kind of do. You don't want to say anything more, though. Um, but you think it's uh, canonical set up to, uh, you know, from the beginning, if you've played the previous Subnautica. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it could be that virus. If that's what you're talking about. But. Um, that has been mentioned. So it could be. I guess I just haven't seen it like written out anywhere. But. You've had the previous game on your back burner. I assume it's regarded highly uh, by most here. It's one of my favorite games to be honest. It really really is. Oh, that one's old. I guess they're... No, only a couple of them are old. Okay. Let's get some not old lantern fruit. I think we saw everything here. I want to definitely want to go back and plant it. 
you have the first game for free on PlayStation Plus? Yeah, they gave a bunch of them out um, on, a, on a bunch of different platforms. It might even still be free for some. So that was everything on this. Because we went to the other ones, I'm pretty sure, too. Anything around here? But yeah, Dave, I highly recommend the first game. Ooh, I am cold. I saw another path. Warm, warm me. Subnautica is great though, you much prefer watching to playing. Um, just because of the underwater anxiety or the controls? I'm just curious. Ugh, it's getting colder. I guess I should have just gone this way, huh? Warm me. I like these little plants. Um, you can get everything out of the game just from watching rather than playing. Yeah, that, that is interesting. So, you probably feel the same way about Outer Wilds, I would imagine. Um, because it's like a primarily exploration game, and so like if you're just kind of exploring and, and watching... It'll be a very similar experience for you, I assume. There's a lot of games like that. Exactly the same way. Interesting. Because for me, like, I... Ooh. I prefer to play them than to watch them because I, I get a stronger sense of discovery when I'm doing it myself, you know? Um, and once I've watched it, I can't play it. So I'd rather play it and then watch it later. What is this place? It is architect technology. Standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Ah, we got some teleporters. Okay. Nifty. Probably a good place for a beacon. You like games that make your hands move and provide, like, mechanical tension. Got it. So for you, it's a little bit more of the actual challenge of the game than the mental mental journey, I suppose. Like, you probably don't, don't like puzzle games either, I imagine. More, more active than passive is your preference. That's cool. Because I'm, I'm like the total opposite. Like, if a game is really demanding in terms of controls and stuff, I tend to like it less because I, I don't want the dexterity challenge. I want more of the mental challenge. Can I put a beacon here? I don't know if I can. I guess it, the beacon should be at the path entrance more than at the actual place because I can't row my boat up here. Hey, <laughs> Seb.
Sure, yeah, be can. Alright, well, we've done all this. I guess I'll warm up. Is my fruit still good? Yep. How did your stream go last night? I watched the I watched the clip on the Discord. Oh, Allie, you prefer a great story, like if the game could be a movie or a show, that would be great. Yeah, I'm I like that. I like a game that that is a really strong narrative story. And Dave, you agree with that? Awesome. Went pretty well. Awesome. Love to hear it. Aunt Patch Zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. Not Sam. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. Mm-hmm. Okay. The clip, you were laughing so hard. Your face hurt, you were laughing so hard. Oh, I'm gonna pour some more tea. Just a moment. My throat is all scraggly from the rage that I had like an hour ago. I wasn't even, I was, I was just sitting at my computer just like, brr, angrily typing. Oh, that's nice. It should be a pretty fun rewatch. Monster Prom is a good time. I don't know anything about this game, but I'm very curious. Uh, Lou reading very slowly who the characters they chose from was gold. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I remember like getting the, the text alert on my phone that you went live and I was like in bed and I was like, mm -mm, I'm going to sleep. Um, angrily typing. Yeah, I've, I had a, um, I had a really bad, uh, apartment touring experience and it got, the, the landlord was asking for increasingly demanding information um, just for a tour to the point that... Is this a frozen penguin? Oh my god! It just swam off! <laughs> I was gonna get out and try to take it. <laughs> I wanted to have a pet penguin. All right, well, let's go home and we'll plant this tree. Hi, Harvey. But yeah, so this, um, this landlord was like requesting a full application, a deposit and co-signers that were notarized and all that just to like tour the fucking place. And then we decided we didn't want it. Um, and so we didn't finish our application and fully submit it and let them know that we withdrew like a week and a half ago and uh today or yesterday they deposited the check and i'm like you gotta be fucking kidding me i'm just like so mad i'm still really mad about it I'm gonna be mad for a while because it's not gonna get sorted out until tuesday with the holiday weekend welcome aboard captain you have monster camp but not yet downloaded what were- wait, what were you playing? I thought that's what you were playing. What were- what game- what was that? Monster Prom! Monster Prom was what you were playing, I remember. I was like, it sounds the same. 
uh, your bank doesn't have a fraud department. The bank is closed until Tuesday because it's a holiday weekend. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna make a grow bed. That's what we're gonna do. Um, afraid of banks. I'm afraid of Tyra Banks. Just a little bit. Like, in a good way. Exterior grow bed? I want interior grow bed. It's gonna go right here. Hell yeah. Bunch of plants. And then we got these ones too. May as well salt some more fish. It's so cold. I thought it was summer. And I don't know what to do with all of these all of these ion cubes. I like I don't want to use them for anything. Uh oh shit. We got these cat pictures. Let's put them right next to our penguins. Yeah. Yeah! That's not the right spot, though. There we go. Yeah. I wish I could crouch and get in really close. Do I want to trade weather? See, see, Dave, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure it's 60 degrees here right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think it's the same. Let me check. It Actually, no, it's 47. It's 47 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Oh, I've got a bunch of texts from my realtor. Let me let me see what she's saying. Okay. She's working on it. I am picking up a signature of an important <gasps> item belonging to my people. Yeah? I will share its location. Okay. Where is it? Signal location uploaded to PDA. It's gotta be this one, right? Let's take that one off. All right, we got a new goal. Ooh, it's high up. Ooh. That's still hot for England. My God. Yeah, so I'm in New England and uh, which is kind of funny to say in the context of actual England, but um, in Boston, uh, the weather fluctuates from below zero during the winter. Uh, I think like the record low is like negative 10 or something like that to a high of like, usually it'll peak around like 105. It's 85 here and you're not prepared for the hotter weather, but at least the pool's open. I think I prefer hot and dry weather to like cold weather of any kind. I'm not, I don't deal really well with the cold. 105, what? <laughs> You'd be dead. <laughs> you have the worst Bostonian accent. Do you really, Orc? I don't think I've ever heard you talk with a Bost Boston accent. Like, I can force it. I can, I can go park my car in Harvard Yard. But like, I have to, I have to really think about it. And I feel gross. Like, afterwards. Like, I'm so sorry, all of you. I think it's a surprise to everyone that not all of us have one. 
Whoa. What are you? Probably dangerous. I'm leaving. Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh, fuck. Don't be upset. Just don't be upset with me. We're just passing through. Don't mind me. Uh, I'll rechat in a second. Uh, this is really cool. I'm glad I haven't gotten hurt yet. Oh, they're getting bigger. Oh, I... Just don't touch it. I think this is, like, almost the furthest we can go. Oh, I guess not. Let's turn around this way, make sure there is... Oh, yep. Alright, there it was. I would have gone right past it. And this is probably the way we're supposed to go. So let's get out. Okay. Uh, Luffy, you much prefer the cold climate. I just, like, like, when my hands get cold, I'll just, like, I worry that I'll actually get frostbite just sitting at my computer. Um, my toes, like, I have to wear, like, really thick socks and, and, uh, slippers. Um. They're, they're Metroids. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's funny. I'm, like, super aware now of how often I say sus. Like, just normally. Just talking. Oh, God, that scared me. I thought it was coming out. Um, I think it was, it was probably Mark, I think, that said he hates the word sus. And I'm just like, that's pretty sus, Mark. What's over this way? Okay, cool. Ooh. Um, you prefer having to warm up over having to cool down. So hot weather is a big no. Giant's Deep Redux. Another site found. But I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. Still, it holds valuable information. I hope you will find more. Mm. You have a strong aversion to sus too. I'm pretty sus, Mark. <laughs> Mark's grumpy about everything, though. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It just, like, rolls off the tongue really well. It, it's definitely because of Among Us, but... Any... Is that... Is that it? We just... We scan in here? Alright, let's go back and check out that, uh... That worker site. Whoa. Ah. Hopefully we'll get back in time to plant this. You're not going to get upset about it. Uh, Ali, you're one of those people that picks up lingo to say it ironically and then unironically start saying it. <laughs> I understand that. Whoa! What was that? What was that? What was that? You guys heard that, right? I kind of have to run, though. Because I need to warm up. Steam vent. This should do it. Right? Oh, wow. It's so pretty. You didn't hear a damn thing. You and your friend started saying Pog ironically and it became something we just use. Yeah, Pog is interesting because it's like Twitch culture. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely game. 
Oh, cool. Everything's, like, lit up now. Is that, like, a bridge that collapsed? How do I get up and around? Um. Oh, no, come back. I always thought that Pog was, like, super dumb until I, like... I don't know, saw all the emotes and, like, all the different ways that people were using it. I like saying, like, the really dumb versions of it, like, so pogged out of my gourd. Like, that's probably my favorite way to use pog. <laughs> I think that's from Northern Lion, something like that. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I thought that this would, like, take me up somehow. But maybe not. Yeah, I guess not. Let's go back. I want to try to find a way up. Because there was definitely, like, boxes and things up there. What are some other funny, like, Twitch culture type of terms and abbreviations? There's Pog, there's Kappa. But I don't think people say, like, that's so Kappa, you know? Feels bad, man. A little bit, yeah. I think people say that and then it just, like, references the emote. Ooh, there's, like, a little... a, a place to uh, dock over there. Maybe I should just do that. As long as I don't get eaten. Oh, look at all this titanium. Can I survive this fall? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to go past the jellyfish things again. Ah! That's what it was. Warm me. Warm me. F to pay respects. That's a good one. Yeah. I say F all the time. <laughs> like, outside of Twitch, I'll just be be like, you know, F. Oh man, that sounds so stupid when I think about it now. <laughs> I don't know why. I want to scan one of these. You know what, let's go back in the ship first, because this game logs where you were safe most recent as your uh, save spot. Oh, I got a phone call! have been useful. But ultimately, I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrade? Okay, that's not what I meant bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is is the the thing with feathers this does not match any fauna designation i can find in your pda it's a line from a 19th century earth author emily something hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all i promise we'll get answers one way or another ellen adding hope to your database Aw, adding hope to your database. Um, that eyeball was super freaky. By the way. Please warm me. I'm freezing here. Help. Help. Research hope. What?
While other teams have been pursuing more oh my God, I'm gonna die. to awakening the architects, oh, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. I feel bad for how much she's shivering. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Ultera, but more important to me. Will it help us build your body? I believe so, yes. Crawler's hydraulic fluid for operation. Okay, we got a new mission. That's cool. Let's let's jump. Ooh, we were gonna freeze. Eyeballs! So we definitely are gonna come back here. Let's see, do we have a blueprint for hydraulic fluid yet? We do. And we have everything we need for that. So let's go back to the house and then come right back here. Um, and... Gondor... The teleporter. So we need a new module or a new beacon pretty sure we have one hey knob welcome in cool all right i'm i was a little worried going into the stream today that there was going to be a lot more aimless wandering and i'm really glad to see that that is not what's going to happen um how am i today let me tell you i am mad <laughs> I am angry about the apartment stuff. Holy shit. Okay. I applied for... So, really quick. I'm, I'm going to tell the story a couple of times. Um, so, uh, the first apartment that I looked at, um, it was very hard to get a showing. Um, with a, a realtor, I had to um, put in an application, send in a deposit because they didn't want to do any in-person showing. So it was sort of like they would take our application and then that would show that we're serious. So then we would tour and then sign and, you know. Uh, I, yeah, I'm in Boston. Um, however, uh, we toured the place, decided we didn't like it. And uh, so we withdrew our applications and they agreed and everything was howdy dandy. We went along our way, on our way. Then, yesterday, this was two weeks ago, yesterday they deposited the check. And I just found out an hour before I went live. And I decided to go live because I was just like, I'm so mad, I need to do something else. Uh, because I can't do anything about this until Monday. So. Um, bridge. Bridge. Probably a mistake, hopefully. You know, I... I hope so, and I hope that it gets resolved very easily and quickly, and it's not a big deal. But this management company has been so atrocious to deal with um, that I, like, wouldn't be surprised if I have to um, go to small claims court. Because, like, the amount of hoops that we had to jump through just to tour the goddamn apartment were were insane. It'll be a pain in the ass to to do small claims court. Yeah, I don't want to. Um maybe a strongly worded letter from a lawyer if they if they don't uh just return the money immediately. I don't know. I'll work it out. It'll be fine. I I am owed that money. I have written documentation that that says that they have to refund it. So, um can't believe that I have to go through all these hoops to find a place to live. Yeah, I applied for another place 
a couple days ago that I really, really liked and I was ready to go for. Uh, and, and we got rejected. It was just a real, real bummer. They went with someone else. Um, so today I toured another place where I don't really like the location, but the apartment itself is really nice. Um, so I think we're going to try that one next, but at this rate, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Certain cities are such a pain in the ass. Yeah, like, Boston is unreal. Like, uh, because it's such a college town, a lot of leases are listed in February and March for September move-in. Because college students are, like, planning in advance, and that's when you hear back from colleges. Um, so... When our landlord asked us to renew in February for September, we're like, I, I don't fucking know what we're doing. I guess we're leaving. Um, and it's just like super hard to plan. But this year, because the colleges are all virtual now, all the housing stuff is pushed way back. So I had to put in notice that I was moving and then, um, not have a place to, then like not have a place lined up for a couple of months and now it's like now i'm getting getting nervous fingers crossed thank you dave yeah i'll i'm gonna try to keep the apartment listing updates like to a minimum because oh i thought i only needed one i didn't realize i needed three but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to uh, annoy you guys too much with all my apartment woes, but this particular one was like I had to, I have to share because it's like so unbelievable. Hey, Allie, welcome back. Um, the smaller ones are in a way easier. Wife worked out of Philadelphia for a bit. Um, and that was a Craigslist situation. And that was so easy. Yeah, if you're just, like, going directly through a landlord, it's way better than, like, a management company. Absolutely. You broke your lease a few times here or there and it was easy. See, at my current apartment, if I decide to break the lease, I have to... And it's beyond six months. Um, like, there's less than six months left in the remaining lease. You just have to pay it. Um, if it's before six months, then you can pay, like, half. Something like that. Um, New York City is such a pain. Is that where you are? Look at all this water. I'm like swimming in water now. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If garlic was here, I'd get timed out. <laughs> I would just mute my mic for three minutes. <laughs> All right, so I need the seeds and gel. Gel is in here. Four of those. And then I think I've got help right outside. Come here, give me. Yeah. Making progress. Feeling good about it. Yeah. Shrub nut. <laughs> it's funny. Um cool i don't really have to drop anything else off but i guess i'll put i'll put it in here i'll put it in this big one drop those i guess i'll keep the copper wire with me just in case we love progress yeah because there, there were a couple of streams there where i was just like now what what do we do we're gonna go exploring Okay. 
Where is my ship? I don't think I parked it in here, which was dumb because I should have let it charge, but... It's kind of awkward that it doesn't fit. I have an extra power cell. I have two extra power cells. We're fine. We're fine. Bridge. Oh, and you know what, guys? I'm proud of myself. So, one of my favorite makeup brands is having a big sale right now. And when as soon as I saw that the sale was going to happen, like, they sent out the announcement email, you know? I was like, oh, shit, I'm definitely going to buy some stuff. And, like, I started thinking about, like, the couple of things I wanted to get and, like, putting them together in my cart. And then I just, like, looked at my cart for a while. And I was like, I don't actually want any of this. And so I just, like, closed the window and just, like, never looked back. I'm proud of myself. Because usually when I say no to something like that, it's like, Oh, well, I can't really justify it right now. And I can't, like... I shouldn't be spending the money. You know, I try to, like, get myself out of... Just, like, talk myself out of it. But this time I was just, like, naturally, like, No, I don't really want it. That felt good. Poggers in chat. <laughs> clap a clap. Clap a clap. <laughs> Listen, you may laugh, but for a while I was having an, a, a problem with spending too much on on makeup that I didn't need, um, and it it uh, took a little while for me to realize that it was actually a problem. So I'm glad that. I'm not still sucked into it. Aw. I thought that I could get there from here. I thought this was like that area that I walked to before, but I guess not. We'll go around. Oh, oh. Switch your story out with Steam Store. And you're right with me. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I feel ya. Steam Store! I have the same problem with, but I tend to get my use out of the games that I buy. Like, I, I usually play the games. Um, but with makeup, it's like, it's, it's very expensive. It's ludicrously expensive. And the reason why they charge so much for it isn't because it's worth it, it's because they can. Um, whereas, like, any dime that goes to a game dev, I think is money well spent, you know? Um, what's the fastest way to get up here? I wonder. Uh, but, like, makeup, it's, it's very predatory, the way that they market. Um, I think. Um, like, makeup brands totally feed on the addictive elements of spending and reward for purchasing, like the mental reward, you know? Um, what's this? Ooh, I almost missed this. First aid kit. I guess I'll warm up. Oh, it's so freaky looking. Oh, there's stuff down there. Fuck, we're going down there later. Uh, Dave, you're trying to get out of that mentality. Um, you're really bad when it comes to getting games and Steam sales because you already have loads of games in your backlog. Uh, or in your, in your, yeah, back catalog. Yeah, I, Steam is pretty bad about this too. They, you know, they have all these really great sales. And so you feel like if you don't participate, then you're missing out. But that's just, like, not true, right? Um, one of the, I'm, I'm a little lost because it's so dark. Um, one of the things that helped me a lot was acknowledging that the thing will always be there. Like, you can always get that game later. Um, same thing with makeup. I was like, can always 
Oh, extend. Do it. Oh! Yeah, that felt good. Um, a flare. Thanks for the flare. I'm sensing interesting patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. What? Creatures tunneling beneath the ice? Okay. Um, I guess your backlog hasn't gotten to that point where it's... Uh, backlog has just gotten to the point where it's full of games you actually want to play rather than just a bunch of random stuff you picked up. Yeah, see, that's like, that's where you want to be, right? I definitely have a ton of games that I've bought and I will never play. Um, and that's just... Just unfortunate, but is what it is. Um, but I'm, pr yeah. Is this right? Am I in the right area? I think this is new. But also, I need something warm. New blueprint synthesized. Um, you replay games a lot, which you think helps with keeping you from buying games on impulse. Yeah. You're a hundred hours into Hades and making new files. Yeah, so it's like... I don't know. Oh, ooh. Okay. Look. Let me get somewhere safe and then I will read chat. Let's jump down here. I'm betting it's gonna be warm if I start going down here. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Ooh, copper. Silver? That's a little mine. Copper's always handy. Okay. Like, what is a game you bought but won't play? But I will have time. You're closer to Loof where you have games that you plan to play, uh, rather than, like, and then just, like, not quite getting to them is is what you mean, Knob. Um, yeah, I used to do the, the Humble Bundles, like, every every month I would get the Humble Bundle. Because, like, why not? There are only five bucks and you get a bunch of games. And it's, like, it's not a good deal if you never play it. Or if you have no interest in playing it. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I'm just kind of rolling with it. I'm pretty... Oh, you know what? I I bet we're supposed to have the snow... thing. The, there's like a... Uh, a vehicle. A snow vehicle that we're supposed to have. Maybe I should get that and come back. Spending zero dollars is the best deal. You did it too, right? Now you have too many. It's like, so it's a balance, right? So we're always gonna buy things that we end up not needing. Um, that's, that's always gonna happen. And I think it's just more of a case of being aware of what things like that are important enough to take that risk because then you got got games like Hades where you spent 15 bucks on it and you got a hundred hours at least out of that game that is 
an amazing deal, right? Even if you paid full price for the game. So I think it's all just like a matter of perspective and not spending beyond your means. Where like, for me, the main reason I cut back on makeup was because I was buying things, not using them, and I was like splurging on the purchases. I was like, oh yeah, no, this will be worth it. This will be worth it for me to have, for me to like, you know, add this extra thing to the order. Oh, well, I'm saving on shipping if I spend $50. It's like, no, you're spending $50. Now I'm just kind of getting tangy. But I don't want people to, th to think that I'm saying that spending money is bad, because it's not. It's just, like, being mindful of what, what you're doing. I think I might die. I think I'm a little screwed. Let's start going back. I think I really need this other vehicle here. Uh, Luf, thank you for, uh, for the rule check-in. Yeah, welcome in, Slavith. So, from, from my experience thus far in the game, in terms of size, I, I agree. Uh, it does seem like the the first game is more spread out, and this game is 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 a little bit more condensed. This world or this uh, map, but I haven't seen everything yet. This is my first time to this area, and I'm I'm getting out of here because I'm not ready. I need I need the snow leopard thing, whatever it's called. Which, I don't even know if I have the blueprints for it. Hmm. Which also has me hesitate to go all the way back, because if I can't even build the thing, like, where am I gonna find the blueprints? Oh. I'm just waiting for something to jump out of nowhere. So there's the ship. Let's go stand on this vent for a minute and I'm gonna look at the logs. Because I'm pretty sure there were also some voice logs that... Yeah, we haven't listened to yet. Ah, oh, my darlings, Brian, Svea, and Oren. I'm counting the days until I can come home and give you all the hugs and kisses. Since my research project was cancelled, they have me at a place called Outpost Zero doing nothing much. Just cataloguing things, plants, the occasional animal, but it's mostly ice where I am, so there's not a lot of new stuff to find. Svea and Oren, you know how you get bored when your hover dance teacher makes you practice skills 15 minutes over schedule and it eats up your freestyle time? It's a bit like that. But I have a new roommate, Samantha, a roboticist. You should see her little bangling box. Oren, you'd love them. But she got management upset. I guess this is just where they send you if they decide you're too much trouble. I'm kind of glad she's here, though. I was getting lonely. I'm still trying quietly. I don't want any more trouble to figure out where I went wrong. I was sure. I picked up a distress signal. I, I was right on top of it, and then it just stopped. What if someone, an architect, is still down there and, and needs help? I'll be home before I ever get to find out, and it will fall to some future researcher to come and find out, I guess. I, I hope, but oh, I can't wait to be home with you. When are you going to send me some more art? There's still a patch of bare wall here that could use some color and a touch of genius. I miss you. I love you. I hope you're still proud of me. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for that follow. How are you doing today, Slavic? To a Maryland. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh. Oh shit. That's a first. 
How did I even get here? <laughs> to, but do Marilyn Monroe pose over uh, the vent? Yeah, I was thinking that. I was like, man, we're really just like popping a squad over this steam vent <laughs> and letting it do its thing. Can I? Nope, I can't jump from here. That's That's unfortunate. Oh, but I haven't been here yet. Trying to fall, uh, falling asleep soon. Nice. I might take a nap after the stream today. I'm like just beat. I'm feeling tired. Okay, so we need to get this snow fox. Can I jump over this? Oh, I sure can. Geronimo! Look at these! Look at it! Uh. <laughs> Fair, yeah. I don't take naps very often, but whenever I do, it's very nice. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of mm -hmm. flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Ah, oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look. It may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. It's 1 a.m. But was really busy today. Yeah, sometimes on those really busy days, I'll stay up a, even a, like a little bit later instead of going to bed early just so I can feel like I had my time, you know? Um, speaking on behalf of the entire mining crew, day in, day out, we are risking our lives in this cursed territory. When we signed up for this mission, we were not told about these ice worms. We lost solid fifth of the crew before Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency shuttled off the planet. Marcus was supposed to retire after this job. Instead, he was skewered by an ice worm. Have you seen, uh, ever seen someone get scared by an ice worm? These thumpers that the company developed are just stopgap solution. Uh, they do a great job of distracting the ice worms when they have power. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Would it be possible to send us additional replacement batteries? A little more juice would go a long way. And then we have the tunnels. Ice worms, undercover, mineral-rich pockets. can't go wait to get off this hellhole ice hole whatever it's dune underwater i need to read this man everyone's talking about dune a little rain jacket for aldi like with a little rain hat oh okay so here's my thinking here's my thinking so i don't know where else we're gonna find the snow fox remnants the fragments so, I think we might actually want to try to go again and just push onward as far as we can and just hope that we don't die. Because now we've gotten back here, we've saved our progress effectively. Like, I'll just, I'll just save it, actually. Um, but, does that make sense? Like, the game has always rewarded us for pushing a little bit beyond our means in this game compared to the first one, where the first one it was like, oh, you need this machine to get to the next area. But in this game, it's very much, you have everything you need, you just have to push a little harder. So I think, I think we're gonna try it. We'll just, we'll, we'll commit to it. We'll go as far as we can. We'll try to warm up as much as we can along the way. 
you haven't read it either, Dave. It's like, a lot of people have been talking about it lately. I guess because the movie was coming out. So a lot of people, it was on their radar, and so they picked up the books for the first time. That's what it seems like to me. It wouldn't be good crashing on the Subnautica planet IRL. No, it would not. That would not be fun. Did we ever go out this way? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I wouldn't last very long if this happened to me. For real. Oh, I went the wrong way. This is not the right way. It's kind of hard to remember this. Just die immediately. Just die of shock, of fright. That'd be me. I'd just be like, nope. No, thank you. I will stay in my shuttle until I die. I'm sure I'd get out and look around. I don't know. All right, we've gone up that way. Let's go this way. This was about as far as I got before. And then I couldn't find any vents. What's the steam? getting cold. Fuck. I don't know which way to go. I hear stuff tunneling. It's making me nervous. There wasn't even anything up here. Ugh. Shit. Shit. There hasn't been anything to heal with. Alright. Uh, oh, I missed so much chat. Oh my goodness. Let's scroll back up a little bit. Oscar Isaac as daddy. <laughs> you mean that's not his real name? Quite the cast for the movie. So we'll see if they do it justice. Oscar Isaac is one of your faves. He's so good in everything. Uh, meeting a reaper, meeting a reaper leviathan in real life would be like a dream come true. Really? Oh my god. I'd be so scared out of my mind as it's coming towards me with all of its teeth. Uh, even if the movie is um, Cheeks, you know the director is going to get good results from these actors. It's a good point. Um, I feel like he wouldn't have done the movie if he didn't think he could, but he's, but still have expectations that must be met. Gotcha. All right. Well, we died. I don't think we really lost anything, so that's good. Oh, that's weird. It's like there's water in the ship. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe we can't get up there yet. But I don't know where else we're going to find the snow fox. And except for like one of these areas. I'm going to I'm going to do a quick BRB and have a quick bio break. I'll be back in like 2 minutes. Um I feel like you wouldn't have, Yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I saw that. Okay, I'll be back momentarily.
All right. Look at this cat. Alrighty. Good yawn, buddy. What a good boy. I love that he hangs out with me when I'm streaming. Usually if I'm working, he's over on his tower, which is over that way. But when I'm streaming, he's like, I want to be in frame, although he's like right behind me. All right. So what do we do, chat? What do we do? Do we go wander around and try to find some shit? Do we go explore here again? I kind of want to try one more time, but also that like really didn't go well. Also the audio is doing something weird. It's like, oh wait, I know, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let me in, let me get back in. There was an alien thing. Oh, they're so close. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm afraid. Turn around. Oh, there was some alien doodat down here. Let's go check that out. I should really read about these... These things. Alien? No, not alien data. It is under research. Herbivores. Eye jelly. Hello, alien doodad. Eye jelly. Eye jelly resides in deep waters. It is made- It is not deep waters here. What? It is made of three distinct body sections. Tentacles, the main body, and the bell. The end tentacles are covered in bioluminescent nodes which attract prey. When the tentacles are touched, they emit a shock through specialized cells called... Sendocytes? Sindocytes? I don't know. Called it uh, jelly. That was that's a good name. I like that better than eye jelly. Eye jelly is like very. Oh god, get away, get away, leave me alone. All right, so just don't touch them, and we should be okay. They're not gonna hurt us otherwise. Yeah, eye jelly. It's it's like. Kind of boring. I am pretty sure I saw something down here. that far. Oh, new music. Guess we'll keep going down. It's really hard to tell where, like, the map ends. Also, there is nothing down here. I wonder what it was that I saw, because I could have sworn I saw a green thing. It, I guess it could have been a fish or something. I wish my visibility was just a little bit better. Yeah, 
There's nothing here but these jellyfish. Alright. I think that's it. That's the edge. Let's go back to our bridge marker. We'll look in a different spot, see if we s notice anything. And then from there, I'm trying to think of any other bases that we've gone to that maybe I didn't scan everything that we should have. Gotta be really careful of all these jellies, too. Like, I don't know. I'm a little confused. So we got to this new, like, area, right? That, and we were rewarded with new music. Which makes me think that this area should be more substantial, but, but there's just, like, not a lot. Unless I'm just, like, not finding it. Down here so it seems kind of cool. Ugh. Let me through. Is that a fish or alien? It's a plant. Oh, I have to get out and like repair the ship soon. This seems like another way out. Let's go back the other way. Oh, stay away from me. If we get below 50% on the repair, then I'm gonna get out. Okay, going up this way. What a cool game though. What a cool game. Leaving a lurk? Sounds good, Allie. Thanks for the lurk. I will catch you later. we're out. See, that felt weird to me. We went through this whole really cool cave. But there was nothing there. So what's the deal? It's very curious. Very curious. And I'm starting to wonder if I just, like, saw one of these. Or, like, there's that there. Maybe that's what I saw? And that's just texture that hadn't loaded in. Gotcha. I think that's what I saw was, like, a school of fish next to some, like, texture that wasn't, wasn't there prior. Well, now I'm in a safe spot, so let's get out. And... RV. He wants to go out. Oh! 
Thanks, buddy. Thanks. What a nice helper. Harvey, I'm so warm and comfy now, and you're yelling to be let out? Let me check the log real quick and then I'll then I'll deal with him. Some bacteria. Harvey, please. Can you hear him at all? Probably not. High density architect cabling structures have been discovered running between various sites. Known architect activity. Don't think so? All right. Yeah, I didn't think so. One second, I'm gonna let him out. Try not to make him suffer for too long. Scans indicate that this array of alien hardware serves to accumulate and quickly release megajoules of energy and is charged by ion cubes stored within. These super capacitors may be used to smooth transient power events on the conduits connecting various architect sites. Okay. These glacial steam vents or geysers are periodic, intense hot water vapor eruptions that emerge from crevices in the ice sheet. Oh yeah, we got the that other tree. We have so many trees now. Antifreeze properties. I wonder if I can farm them. exploitable. Hmm. Maybe I should go back and try to grab some. Because, oh, that would be really cool. Okay. Man, I would progress in this game much faster if I just read everything as I was getting the logs for it, but, you know, usually in a pinch when I get, like, a bunch of them all at once. Is there anything else? Nope. Dave, how are you doing with uh with school? You've got to be really close to done now, right? You got like a week left, maybe. One week more. Yeah. That's really exciting. I don't know about you, but I got really bad senioritis my last year of school. It was like really bad. Um, because when I was in college, I, uh, I started to really put energy into my small business at the time, selling art. Oh, there's one right here. Can we grab this? Nope. What about the laser cutter? Nope. No and no. Uh, but the senioritis that I had, like, senior year of college, I was like, I'm making money off the art that I'm doing when I'm not in school. The projects I'm doing for class are meaningless. I don't need it. What's the point? Um... And so it just made it such a grind. You've had that all year, yeah. It's tough. All right, we'll go back to the house.
We still don't have, like, half the stuff we need, but I, I don't know where to get some of it. I feel like I should be checking more often if there's stuff on these sheets of ice. But it also seems like there's never stuff. Can I walk on this? I sure can. Not that it goes anywhere, it seems. Oh, we're getting colder much faster. Man, I really want to go up there. I really, really do. I want to go back up. And I want to drive around and and explore that whole area. Oh god, I'm so impatient. Fuck. I wonder where this goes. where it ends. Okay. Man, if there's gonna be more parts, it's gotta be on one of the islands, right? I wonder if there's a way that we can get past that that beast. Carnivores. Which one was it? The snow stalker. Yeah, this guy. Because I tried the bright light and I didn't have unpredictable noises. I guess I could try to put like a jukebox in front of it, but that seems kind of dumb. But there was like a whole room that I couldn't go to in that lady's house. Um, which makes me think that, that I must be able to get in there by moving the thing. The jukebox would be funny. If it was like any other game, that would be the solution, right? But in this game, I'm not not quite sure. I also don't have a beacon for her. So finding her would be a little tough. I bet I could do it. The first time that I played the... Uh, the first Subnautica. Oh my god, I've got so many health packs. I'll drop some of those off. Um, but those might be actually good to have in in the, in the in the ship. I don't know. But anyways. The first time I played first Subnautica, I didn't realize that you could like set your own beacons. I just like went right over my head and I didn't even think about it. And so I spent the whole game, like, I remember I even, like, pulled up uh, a no-spoiler map of the first game and was, like, writing notes, like, printed it out and, like, tried to figure out where things were because I just had so much trouble navigating.
Oh no, yeah, it was it was funny. Once I realized I was like I felt like a big idiot. Oh yeah, check that out. Our room like looks so much more homey now. Grab a couple more fish. Oh no. Power restored. All primary systems online. What do you mean the fabricator is not a primary system? Why would you do this? All right. Uh, I did want to see what was new in here. Oh, I need this. Uh, I can untag a couple of things also. I thought I got another, like, thing that I could make. Hmm. Maybe not. Still unpowered? Are you even doing your job? I guess I'll just go sleep. We'll wait until daytime. Good. It just ran out of stuff. Alright. Uh, where's my knife? Knife. Three. Come here, fuel. Welcome aboard, Captain. should help. Let's grab one of these and we'll plant it. Actually, you know what? Let's just grab a few. I didn't realize there were so many spots open. We'll have a little forest over here. Alright, so... We'll make another fried fish. Thumper. Okay, so we did get some new modules. And oh, sick! I didn't realize you could pin recipes from here. Oh. We could take the prawn suit up there. Probably. I don't know how we would land it, like, on... Because it's going to sink, right? So I don't know how we'd land it. Could we take the prawn suit on land? Can we do that? We are, we're going to try. Fuck. I hate the prawn suit. That's why I, like, put it off, but... We probably need it to progress. Prawn suit. Uh, 
lithium, 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 lithium. Two of these. We need an enameled glass, which means we need lead, which is a problem because we don't have any lead and there's no lead anywhere in this game. What did I do? What did I switch? Oh, there's a lead. A computer chip, gold, copper wire, and tables, coral. I know we've got lots of copper wire. Uh, we've got lots of gold. I don't know if we have table coral. Yeah, we do. And then how much do we need for enameled glass? Oh, just one lead. Perfect. Then we have everything we need. Let's... Don't need to have a surplus if you've got enough, right? Uh, I still need the quartz. Or just a piece of glass. Hell yeah. Ugh. See, this is the part of the game that, watching it, I would, I would struggle. Like, playing it, it doesn't feel that bad to, like, go and do all the crafting, but watching someone else craft, to me, is, like, grueling. <laughs> okay. Um, cool, so I've got everything for the prawn suit. Except for when you're making a, making a new ship, because that's always exciting. You don't mind it personally? But you know some people might not like it. I think if it's a game that I haven't played before and know I won't play, it probably won't bother me as much. But I know, like, after playing Subnautica, I really wanted to watch someone else play it for the first time. So I pulled up some stream. But no, it wasn't a stream. It was on YouTube. It was before I was even on Twitch. It was a long time ago. Um... For a second, I was worried that it was going to fall all the way down there. How exciting. Oh, I can go, like, really high up. Okay, so I might be... I might be able to, uh... To do it. Okay. Let's definitely get some upgrades, though. Cool. But yeah, watching someone else play it and, like, figuring out the crafting and stuff, I, I found myself just, like, skipping ahead in the VOD a little bit. But. Let's dump a couple of those. Don't need that many. Probably don't need this much water either, but at least water is kind of easy to get rid of. Okay. I do have a couple batteries that I could switch out. Oh. I see what I did. Last time I just switched one out that wasn't, uh, switched one out and then switched it out again. Okay. So, for the prawn suit... Upgrades... We want the jump, jump jet. I don't think we need a depth module, but maybe I'll pin it. The drill arm, repulsion cannon. I remember there was like a, a grabby arm in the first game, and I don't remember what that was called. Let's go back to the blueprints and we're gonna unpin the prawn suit. We'll leave these ones. Oh, more enameled glass. Nickel! Something finally calling for nickel. 
Nickel was probably in the rare, super rare shit. No, it wasn't. Huh. Where would I have put it? Maybe in here? In the lithium. Okay. Five titanium. I actually shockingly don't have enough. I'm gonna have to go get some. Uh, I guess I'll just put this back. Then I'll know for next time. Alright, let's go get some chunks of metal. I need lead, too. So I need all the common stuff, although lead is not common. Lead is actually quite hard to find. I say as I immediately stumble across one. But seriously, I mean it. It's hard to find. Well, now scanning all the things I already have is useful. I will say that titanium is definitely less abundant in this game. I think the recipe has changed a little bit, too. Where I think titanium ingots in the first game you needed um, 10 titanium, and now you only need 5. I could be misremembering that, but... It's funny looking forward to getting the titanium instead of whatever element it is that you... It's like the chance of, you know. Uh, there's a oxygen ball. Mongoose, you have to step off for now. Have a good rest of the stream. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your night. Thanks for hanging out and chatting. Chatting earlier, I should say. Um, heard somewhere that you could turn off crafting in the first game. Is that still the case in this one? Like, turn it off how, like, uh, so you're not required to do any of it? Or, like, turn off recipes so you have to, like, figure more stuff out? I assume you mean the, the first one. In which case, I'm not sure, because I don't remember turning off crafting in the first game. I r there is, like, um, an easy mode where you can turn off hunger and thirst and that kind of thing. Oxygen ball, I need you. Yeah, always happy to see you here, Mongoose. How much do I have? I've got a good amount. I've got enough. That's something I need to get better at in this game, is only getting what I need. I don't need a surplus. You can always get more. I believe after the... Uh, I believe after the game's main events, crafting becomes free in the original Subnautica. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. I didn't even know that. I had no idea. Uh, so we're making, what are we making with this? Oh yeah, we just needed five. Okay. Um, we need a lithium and we need two, the two nickel. No, two. I said two. Oh, my inventory's full. Good. Two 
two, three sulfur. I thought I had more sulfur than that. I thought I had stockpiled more. Um, jet upgrade. Very good. So now... I'm so glad I figured this out just now, that if I go to the blueprints and then I click on the thing, I can unpin it. I kind of wish I could unpin it from right here, but that's whatever. Well, let's make this... Let's get some magnetite. I'm pretty sure I have some of that. Where, though? definitely saw it once when we were walking around. Maybe it's in the ship. It might be in the ship. Oh. Cool. Oh, of course I need one of those. Alright, okay. Thumper. Do I have any tea by miners and researchers to explore perilous environments. The thumper creates a steady source of noise that might repel unwanted creatures by amplifying collision sound waves. Okay. I guess that'll be good to have. Um and then the last one is the enameled glass with these plant clippings. Which I do have one. Or I think it was a ruby that it also needs. Let's grab four. Yeah, I was right. I love that I'm starting to memorize some of these um, recipes. I have the lead already. We need a diamond. Should I take it? Step module. May as well, right? Where is the prawn suit? Here you are. Hey, bud. Upgrades. 700 meters. See, like, my sea, my sea truck can go deeper than that. Let's see if there's any others. We don't even know if this is gonna work, so... I'm gonna make it anyways, but... Is there... Now here's the real question. Does the sea truck have a module for transporting the uh, prawn suit. Does not. <sighs> okay. Okay, before I invest any more time into upgrading this thing that I don't even know if it's going to help, let's Let's go see if we can even jump up there. Let's drop that. We'll keep the rest of this. Let's just give it a go. Let's give it a try. Sea truck! Yeah, that's what they call this. I think it should be like a sea train, but that's just me. It has a bunch of cars that attach to it. I don't know why it's called the truck. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah. I'm very curious if this thing can, like, fly. Oh, alright. We kinda can.
Alright, that's cool. Oh, down we go. This is cool. This this is this feels kind of cool. I wish I had the uh the arm that like grabs and pulls you along. Mech suit, yeah. Robots. Are any of you big robot nerds? I watched Gurren Lagann um, for the first time somewhat recently. Where are we gonna go? How are we gonna do this? And, uh... Let me up, let me up, let me up! Damn it. Um, Gurren Lagann and now Mon Evangelion. Oh, yeah! Hell yeah! We did it! We did it! We did it! That's all we needed to do. Hell yes. Not really. You find them cool, though? Yeah, I'm not, like, a huge nerd for it. Um, but I see the appeal. Um, less so with Evangelion, because... Oh, jeez. Please fit. Gurren Lagann was, like, really fun. Like, they're basically the same show. To me. <laughs> to me, as someone who doesn't really watch anime. Um, but they felt like very similar shows to me. Um, except that Evangelion is just like more... S like, just sad and annoyed across the board. Just get in the ship. Just, just get in the mech suit. Get in the robot. But I'll, on the other hand, Pacific Rim. I really like that movie. Uh, I think it was this way. I'm so glad that I did this. I feel rewarded for my brain thinking of this. Because I think that in another parallel world, I would have been like, I don't know how to get the snow thing. I guess I'm just screwed. And I'll have to look around until I find the other parts. Are we talking the new one? Or the old one? Um, for Subnaut- or for uh, uh, Pacific Rim, it was the The f Let's go down here. I wanna... Uh, what? Come on. Uh, it was the 2012 one, I think. I think it was 2012, 2014, something like that. Maybe my prawn suit can come down here, because it says I need a drill arm. Maybe I should try it. Let me- let me up. Oh. Oh, I came up in a whole different spot. Okay. Yeah, the newer one? Ah! 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 I'm sorry, I'll leave. I'm sorry. I don't want to, like, ye if it's only one use, I don't want to use it. I just, like, suddenly got very nervous in here. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here, but, like...
This definitely can't fit down here, right? No way. Okay. Alright, I didn't take damage coming in here this time. Oh, please. Freaking me out. But I want to explore. I don't even know what I was talking about. I completely lost my train of thought. Just another way out. Fuck oh, you guys. Maybe these don't really go anywhere. The heck? Okay. I mean, I know it said that that was like for those creatures. We should just keep going. We should just keep looking around. This is... This is cool, though. Which way was I going? This way, I think? Yeah, let's go this way. Towards the alien doodats. This is where we died last time. That looks important. We'll go around. There's something up there, too. What are you? We have a beacon. Is there a crouch button? There is something in there that I want. I guess I'll just I'll leave this here. All right. We can't mine it. Okay. That's cool, though. Okay. We couldn't really do anything back there. I like the pinned recipes thing. Was that in the original Subnautica? It was not. Ah! 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 You guys saw that one, right? 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 Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh. How? 
where do we go? Oh, where do we go? Oh! Hi! Uh, sorry to bother. Can I go by you? Okay. Alright, cool. He's chill, he's chill. We friends, we friends. Oh, they get bigger. Oh! This is cool as fuck. This is so cool! Oh god, look at it! What are you doing? Hi! Your friend was nice to me. Can we be friends? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. But, um... I'm starting to think I'm in the right place. Uh... Just keep going. What's this way? Uh, seems like really good graphics organization for someone with attention issues. Yeah, so I really struggled with the crafting and memorization in the first game and being able to pin stuff was game changing for me. Uh, I don't know if I've been up here or not. It's so easy to get lost. I don't think I've been here. And I don't know if my prawn suit will fit. And I'm very nervous about it getting stuck. Oh, a teleporter. Okay. I I see you, game. I don't have one with me. Fuck. Okay. Hey game, do you want to like hide one in the back corner for me? For the person who didn't plan ahead? Have you thought about that? Game? Please? Please? Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Oh, cool. Now I can use snow for water. You remember when the internet culture decided for a while that it'd be funny to call call it porn? <laughs> the porn suit? Um, I don't, but it doesn't surprise me for even a second. I mean, I, I wasn't like... When this game first came out, I only watched some YouTubers, like, or, or Twitch streamers who put their VODs on YouTube. So I wasn't like heavily into the area. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go up in the elevator. Please, send me back. I'm sorry. No, I want to go back. This is cool, though. I regret nothing. It was cool. <laughs> Down again. More new music. Man, I ran into so many bugs in the first game. What's that? Water purification tablet. Huh. I planned a head game, so you don't have to worry about me. Oh. What's here? Oh, that is the wrong.
But there was like one bug in particular that makes me really nervous. Um, where if my prawn suit was on land, it would bug and it would get like stuck in the environment a lot. Um, I don't know if they patched that or not, but I just get so nervous in this particular game. I'm just like, uh, I don't want to bring it into an area that's too small and then have it clip out of the world. Does this end? Where are we going? Oh good, there's some water fish. Laser cutter to gain access. Fuck, I wasn't prepared. Uh, laser cutter. Laser cutter. Where is it? Am I blind? Y'all! Did I not bring my laser cutter? What the fuck? Repair tool. Shit! Fuck! I didn't bring it! God, shit, damn it. I'm not gonna make it back. Oh, that sucks. Warning. I can't believe I didn't bring it. I don't even remember taking it out of my inventory. God damn. Shit. I don't want to go all the way back and get the laser cutter to come back here. Oxygen. That's That was so dumb of me. Your Seamoth got stuck in walls three times playing the original Subnautica. Oof. Yeah, that, that happened to me a couple of times with the Seamoth, too. I remember one in particular. I was in the, um, the fossil area, and... Go ahead and share it. Can't hurt. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, alright. Well, we got a new place to explore. Um... And one of the leviathans pushed me. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. No. Where's my prawn suit? No! I'm gonna have to make another one just to get there. When did I last save? Fuck. An hour ago. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I thought it would just put me back in the prawn suit when I died. God damn it. I did. I just put the laser cutter in there instead of the stupid flare. The Dark Souls of Underwater Exploration Games. Yeah. This one was my fault, though. Fuck. Alright. Where's this new artifact? Is this the one? <sighs> okay. Let's... Let's get a couple fish and we'll salt them. That- oh man. That took the air out of my sails. Oh, God. At least we, we won't lose the modules and stuff. We can go get the modules. We're just gonna have to make another prawn suit. Oh. 
Oh, that's just so many resources. God. I really want to finish what I started over there, too. I was like, we could go and explore this, see what see what's there, but that also... I don't want to, like, completely change pace to something else, because that would make it harder to get back to where I was with the prawn suit. So, I know we're going to need some enameled glass. Uh, what are we missing for the enamel glass diamond? I can't believe it put us all the way back at the ship. The prawn suit doesn't count as a safe location. Are you kidding? All right. Oh, that's cool. Table coral, gold, and copper wire. table coral. I know we got a little bit of that. Loof, how was the rest of your game last night? That... I thought it was actually Fortnite. I thought it was a Fortnite mod. And I, di I didn't realize until I googled it later that it isn't. <laughs> it looks just like Fortnite. It looks really fun. I like that they have a free free demo. Um, I feel like you always know it's going to be a quality game if it has a demo because like if it's not a great game then they the, the devs probably wouldn't want people playing it before buying it. I don't know. I've also played some bad game demos, so I guess I can go either way. It was awesome. You had tons of fun. It's great. It sounded like a, a blast. I'm glad you had fun. I don't think we need the bonus jump to get back to where we were. Do I have my laser cutter? Good. Let's drop off some of this water. I don't think I need to carry all of it. But I'll grab a little extra food. I would love to make it a regular party game if the extended community uh, would get their hands on it. Yeah, I, I'll definitely try it out. Um, I don't know about you, but when I am playing a multiplayer game, I really don't care what the game is because it's more about the people you're playing with, right? So... Like, I have a bunch of games that I have a ton of hours in that I would never even consider playing um, on my own. Like, a good example would be um, the, uh, 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 Left 4 Dead. Like, I don't really have an interest in playing Left 4 Dead by myself, but if I'm with people, I'll have a great time. All right, we got the cured fish. We'll put that back. Got lots of food, got lots of water. All right, we're going back. Let's do it. Agree. There are a lot of games that are definitely good, mostly because you're playing with friends. Yeah, and they're like, I don't even think they're bad games, but they just like, don't interest me at all. I think Among Us is like shockingly good. Um, oh, I have to go like all the way over here. Um, but Among Us seems to have like had its time and now it's people kind of lost interest in it. You would love to do a big 2v2 tournament and make a prize pool for knockout? That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. I was about to say that 
um, that uh, Risk of Rain was a game like that for me, where it was just like so much fun to play with friends, and it absolutely is, but I play it too much on my own to even consider it to be a primary multiplayer game. Yeah, Loof, if you if you organize it like a tournament kind of thing, a bunch of people are gonna show up. Risk of Rain. Dave, you like Risk of Rain? I feel like no one likes Risk of Rain. Whenever I bring up Risk of Rain, people are like, eh. It's cool, but. And I get that it's really repetitive. Like, I know that every time you play, you get end up getting like the same kind of build. But I just think the grind is really fun in that game. I don't know, it doesn't bother me. You prefer to? I think I do too at this point. I have way more hours in the first one, but I think I've enjoyed the second one more. Um, Hi Bear, when we played uh, on stream like a month or two ago, uh, he showed me this really cool way that you could farm for resources and um, upgrades. So you could just like get super, super OP without the, the game's internal clock moving. And so the difficulty wouldn't get harder. Oh, so close, so close. Oh no, oh no, oh no, don't hurt me. This is a poorly placed eyeball. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. That was the only thing I was worried about was getting up right there. The rest of the way will be fine. Two looks great. Did you- you played one and not two? I assume from that, Loof. Oh, oh, uh, you're talking about, uh, uh, knockout. I gotcha. I realize. Yeah, Luke, my internet is so bad. Like, I'm glad that the stream even runs with how bad my internet is usually. Um, because when you asked if I wanted to play last night or whatever, I, um... Like, a after like 20 minutes or so, I was like, you know what, yeah, I will play. And so I went to start downloading it, and it was gonna take like five hours to download. I was like, are you kidding me? What the hell? I think I remember how to get to where we're going. You played the first Ruskaran for maybe five hours, gotcha. Yeah, the first Risk of Rain, for a long time, it was my go-to time-wasting game. So I would throw it on when I was watching a movie, because most of the time you don't have to do very much. You're kind of just, like, leaning on buttons or spamming. Um, don't, don't, don't mind me. Did I go this way? Oh, I can't go up anymore. I think I just went an entirely different way. Oh, but I've been here before. I am so turned around. Let's go back down. I want to just try to get to the other prawn suit because I want to go to that other area. Now that I've got the laser cutter, I can't believe I didn't have the laser cutter. Uh, was it through 
here. This feels right. Such big strides. And then we went around here. We went down the alien highway. Getting spooked along the way. I'm coming for you, prawn suit. I'm just gonna gun for it. And then we're gonna abandon this goddamn prawn suit. Did it eat the other thing? Did it eat the sky? Dude. Hello. Hello. This doesn't seem right. This isn't where I left it. Give me the power cells. I'm saving them. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alright. Oh, and you know what? While I'm thinking of it, I'm gonna unpin these. I'm so bad at remembering to unpin this stuff. Oops. Okay. It didn't hurt me. Oh god, where was I that I found that area? I don't remember how I got there. This doesn't feel right. feels like I'm just going back to the beginning, like I just found a different route. Oh, I hate it. So dark. Is that the bridge? Oh my god, that's the bridge. God damn. Alright, we're going back, we're going back. We're gonna find that spot. Is it faster to go the other way? I'm going this way. I know this way. This way... I've done before. This is the not the right way. What am I what the fuck am I doing? Gotta go this way. It's harder at night. God. Oh, I hate that. Keep going. Please don't hurt me.
They're getting mad at night. Oh, I can't see. Please don't hurt me. Oh, I just noticed I've been taking some damage. Okay. I think I'm relatively safe here. Let's just, uh... Let's put the repair tool on three. Come on. Oh, I'm not in my inventory. Three. Three. Fix this up. I guess at least I have a backup one here if something goes wrong, but... I'd rather just not have anything go wrong. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Oh god, we're getting like attacked. I hope it can't get to us in here. Man, I'm starting to wonder if I should wait until morning. Whew. Sheesh. Oh my god. They can go wherever the fuck they want. I thought I'd be safe high up. That is not the case. Oh, I should have brought an ion cube. What was I thinking? I was not thinking, is what I was... Alright. Next time, Ion Cube. Oh good, it's daytime now. Woo! Alright, does anyone remember where that tunnel was? Because I will absolutely take a reminder, if you know. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Ah. You have absolutely no clue the specifics of what's happening here. Oh god, me too. This seems... awfully similar. No. Oh wow, I'm just like... I hate it. I guess these can fit in here though, so that's... Ah! Uh... Let me out! I don't- I wanna get out! Sorry, okay. I shouldn't have come. Shouldn't have. Stop eating the bears. The bears are so cute. Stop eating them. <laughs> You're playing Hades? Hell yeah. Good luck to you, bear. Ah! Fuck! 
That's so scary because you can't see it. That was, that was a lot. Oh my god, I have 20 repair? Fuck. Love this damn game. Hades is so fucking good. I don't want to get eaten. Did I find that area? I'm trying to remember if it was like up or down. Was it this? I thought this was how we got in here. Yeah, this wasn't it. Ugh. I hate that it's eating all the bears. Dave, you gotta go. Have a great stream. Take care. Yeah, you take care too. Thank you so much, Dave. Thanks for hanging out. I didn't think I was gonna stream that long, but... Book. Um... But I'm invested to get back to where I was. And I'm just so lost now. In here. I think we came in here without the prawn suit, though. Okay. Cool story. Oh, okay, so this is how we came in here. We went down here, and we saw the beacon. The beacon went to those cubes. And then which way did we go? God. Luckily, I don't have to worry about power all that much because I have extra batteries from making that extra bronze suit. We're just going to go around the border and just see where we go, see where we get. I'm wasting power just jumping around, but I'm impatient. Uh, Alright, I don't see anywhere else to go, so let's go back through here. Pardon me. Okay. If 
I was a deep cavern, I'd be down here. Nope. Try the other way. I don't remember what the entrance looked like, and that's what's killing me. Fuck. How did I find that? Alright. It's okay, we're gonna figure it out. Because... As freaky as this area is, we're actually not pressed for time. It just feels like we are. And the, these things, like, are scary, but they, they haven't actually harmed us. Let's grab some water. Nope, this is that portal again. I'm going in circles. Welcome aboard, Captain. Listen here, game. I need help. Try this. I don't think this is right. Oh. Oh shit, there's a cube here. Well, at least we found something else, right? Maybe if we can find that, uh, New technology acquired. New technology acquired? Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it would go that far. My god. Prawn suit, prawn suit, prawn suit, prawn suit. I think I have to go back the way I came. Well, now we can activate that teleporter. So that should be helpful. What's this way? That could be it, maybe. Oh, man. Getting lost in the prawn suits. I guess I should... No, I, I'll leave the other one on just in case. Remember to take some deep breaths. Okay. 
let's look around here. I'm, I'm really tempted to pull up a little map or something. Like a no spoilers map and try to figure out where that tunnel was. Ooh, but this is new. Ice worm bones. I will read that in a minute. So many bones. Avoid. Good. is also new. Large emerald. Oh, shit. That's new. New mineral. More cubes! I'm gonna leave having not found where that uh, teleporter is. Alien component. Ancient tissue. Ah, that is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. <laughs> okay. But how do we do it? I might want to wait until morning to be to move around here actually
Yeah, I think that even if I passed the entrance now, I would just be lost. Getting some more northern lights. This area is super pretty. I keep thinking that these look like wizard hats. I didn't mean to. Northern lights come back. Oh, that's pretty looking. Oh. Haven't been over here. Love these. Acquired. Snow Fox Ice Worm Attack Reduction. That sounds useful. Curious what's down here. Oh, it just loops around. Oh, I definitely- I went the wrong way. I thought that- I guess I have to go up over that bridge. One fifty forty one. okay. This looks... Right. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad that we're finding other things while I'm looking for this cave. It's at least some consolation. That looks- that- is that it? switch one of the batteries out in a moment. Should I go up the other side? Yeah, I should. This, maybe? I like that it, like, squats down. Let's do that. Let's try going down here. Oh, god damn it. Uh, I really wanted this to be the tunnel. okay. Everything's fine. I 
can take my time. I don't have to rush. really wish that the uh, prawn suit had just stayed where it was. That's how I got in. I think this is where that teleporter was. Yeah, all right, well, we can at least drop off this ion cube. Cool. And then we've only seen one other, like, receiver. I guess I'll check, where let's check where it goes. haven't been here. Oh, I'm still on the same island. Snow fox hover pad fragment? What? That's cool. Five robotics. This is where Sam worked. That's cool. I thought we had been here already. But clearly not. Oh, that was very smart of the developers. Um, I didn't know how to get into those areas, and now I know that we can use the penglings, the pengling robot. I didn't know what to do with that before. I didn't know what the point of it was. Also, I'm gonna go back the way we came, but I just really wanted to look around here first before we go. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. You got it. Oh, God. Hell. Let me in. It's hailing inside. Oh, no. Oh, hey, cool. I miss this. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. 
There is some weird stuff out there. But this must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, Peng. What did I just pick up? Oh. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. And why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Map. That kind of looks like the cave. But this isn't the whole area. There's definitely more over here, I think. Or maybe this is the big loop that I'm doing? Oh, it's so hard to tell. I definitely picked up another log, though. Worm bones. Okay. Anything else in here that I'm missing? Oh, hell yeah. Two out of three. I just need one more. Okay. So many supply crates. It's very convenient. I love exploring the bases. They, they're so much fun. <sighs> I'm starting to get a little hungry. Let me... I wish there was like a you are here. Even just in reference to that base. Like it could be this. It's possible. In which case, I want to get down here. This is what looks like a big, long-ass cave.
Welcome aboard, Captain. Where are we now? Maybe that's... No. There's... Oh, that. there's that too. That could be it. And there's this. To get our bearings, we need to find this tree. Back at the hats. I'm gonna get out repair. As long as you don't move, they tend to not go for you. And by the way, I'm giving this like one more lap or whenever it gets to be nighttime again, and then I'm gonna grab some food. Where on here could possibly be the hat area? I wish I could get out without taking damage. I don't think I take very much damage, but I wish I could. Mm. So many health packs. Ugh. Oh god. I didn't die, so that's a bonus. Alright. This didn't go to any of the places I wanted it to. So we're just gonna go back. This is a good place to pause. I think I'm gonna take a longer look at the map and try to figure out where the hell I went last time because I can't believe I still can't find it. Um, but I'm pretty hungry and it's been four hours. Uh, I don't usually stream for that long. So I 
I'm gonna raid somebody. Thank you guys for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Let's see who's online. <laughs>